Hello everybody, it's me, and I just want to say a Happy New Year, and I, I hope you enjoy 2017. And before, you know, we move on to 2018, I'm going to go back to 2017 and do the top 10 best Marvel Legends of 2017, yeah. And, but these, and by the way, these figures are not on my list, and I'm going to tell you guys why these figures are not on my list. Uh, Homer 2 Spidey, this figure is good, but the eyes aren't inaccurate, the eyes like are way more different in the movie than how they are in the figure. The hands are a bit of a hazard to pop off and pop on, and no wall crawling hands. Hasbro, why do you put your MCU Spider-Man figures without any wall crawling hands? Come on Hasbro, go get your shit together. Darkhawk, I like the figure, but I just don't know who the character is, and uh, the wing can be a bit of a hassle to pose. Netflix Daredevil, I enjoyed the uh, Netflix Daredevil, but I just prefer comic figures over movie figures. I just like comic figures more. Uh, Walmart Spidey with the Vulture figure, good figure, but it's not worth it being on the list. Uh, Netflix Punisher, same reason as Daredevil. I just prefer movie figures over comic, over comic book figures. So yeah, but good figure though, like it a lot. Blade, Blade, I like it and hate it at the exact same time. It, uh, first of all, it has no black glasses. It looks so stupid. Just give him black glasses, Hasbro. I could do that by myself. I I could literally just get Sharpie. Colors down glasses and the legs, they don't move back. They don't move back at all. Like, why? Why? And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I wish you could take off these stakes and put on the figure. That would be awesome, right? Like, you could just take off the stakes, put on the figure, you know, the face of the vampire characters. And he needs one more face. He needs the, uh, a mouth open face with, like, his teeth showing. That would be an awesome, Hasbro. But, you know, you know, next time, just get this character right. And uh, the figure that was mostly close was Texas Spidey. I love Spider-Man Homecoming. Tom Hall is my favorite actor because he gets the character so right. But the figure itself has a lot of problems. First of all, the wings suck. They really suck. Like, I, f I, I hate the wings. They easily pop off. They're, they're too short. They're too small. I mean, like, here's my bag of tiny little accessories that, that come with my figures. The wings are right there. They're right there. That's how small they are. I don't want to lose the damn wings. Uh, the hands pop off, like, it's too hard for them to pop off, they're so stiff, Ugh, it just gets me mad. And, no wall crying hands, come on Hasbro, come, come on Hasbro. Uh, yeah, but before we go to the actual list, I'm gonna tell how I'm, I'm gonna grade these figures. Uh, articulation, yeah, good articulation, they're definitely gonna be on the list. Uh, how much I know the characters, fun factor, and, uh, how much I was satisfied with, with the figure itself. And then guys, let's go on to number 10. So our number 10, we have Tombstone. Uh, Tombstone's a good figure, I like him a lot, but the reason why he's so low on the list is because uh, I wish he had a tuxedo more than this suit. I really know Tombstone when he wears a tuxedo, like that's Tombstone. This, I just don't like this suit design. I prefer if he wears a tuxedo because he looks more cooler. And I wish he came with like uh, art and accessories, you know, like maybe a head with like a menacing face, like, like a not a smiling face. But the face sculpt is good itself. So, yeah, overall, good figure. The number 9 spot goes to, yes, the Ultimate Vulture 2 um, figure that came from the 2-pack. Uh, I, I like this figure a lot. It came out really nice, and I, I prefer the Ultimate Vulture, Vulture over the 616 Vulture. Because the the uh, classic Vulture design looks looks kind of stupid, I'm not going to admit. I, I don't get scared from that Vulture. I get scared from the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. That guy... That vulture scares me, and this figure probably scared me too. And this figure is good. Uh, I wish it had more of an ab crunch tool, so that's the only crap I have. And Louis kind of come off a little bit too easily, but besides that, good figure. I like it a lot. And the, the thing that especially makes this figure really good is the head sculpt. The head sculpt is really good. I prefer over the, the other one, the Blacky Drago head sculpt. So yeah, number 9 spot goes to the vulture. And the number 8 spot goes to... Beetle, yeah, this figure is really good. I like this figure a lot. It's so nice to play with and does not break too easily unlike the ultimate beetle which broke really easily for me. Oh, that ultimate beetle was really kind of pissed me off, but this figure does not piss me off. It's fun to handle, it's fun to play with, and the the, the painting goose is really good. Like this metallic purple and metallic green go together so well. It really looks good for this figure. So yeah, number up. Number uh, eight spot goes to the Beetle. Number seven spot goes to the Back in Black Deadpool. Uh, this figure is pretty damn good, but I do have some gripes though. 
my white the white paint on this figure it's uh it gets easily dirty i don't know why but it gets easily dirty uh the head the head also the head sucks it's too hard to put on and yeah this head sculpt just sucks i no i just hate this head sculpt it's too too hard to put on i don't like it so forget that head sculpt and uh the hand the hands are a little bit too loose they used to be i had to do some modification to uh fix the figure but besides that, if you take those problems away, it's a pretty good figure, and I like it. So yeah, number seven spot goes to the Back in Black Deadpool. The number six spot goes to the Old Man Logan. Although it has no accessories, uh, so I still like the figure a lot. And I know why I like this figure a lot. The movie, the movie Logan was really good. I recommend it. And although it didn't make me cry, the other people said it did. I, I did feel a little emotional for what the f characters went through. So, yeah, I'm glad that 20th Century Fox made a good X-Men movie. Double doesn't count, but, yeah, good movie. And the movie made this figure more good. Originals, like, uh, Logan, alright, fine, whatever. But the movie, it made me love it. Like, wow. Uh, and although I don't know what to do with this figure, I don't have any uh, Old Man Logan-related characters, since, like, half the characters from the comic are dead, except for Hawkeye. He's not an actual figure yet. But still though, Old Man Logan, pretty damn good figure. And that's why he earns the number six spot. The number five spot goes to the Walmart exclusive Black Panther. Hasbro. Good job, Hasbro. This is a great uh, figure. Definitely the best Marvel Legends Black Panther of all time. But that that's my opinion. Don't get offended by my opinion. But this figure is just so damn good. Great accessories, although the accessories, they are from other figures. But I'm just glad Hasbro, they did try to give this figure some good accessories. Like the like the staff, good. The cape, good. The necklace, good. Although I wish you would came the arch and uh, you know, the T'Challa face sculpt. But it's good. Good enough, Hasbro. And yeah, this figure is just really good. Articulation, great. Fun factor, great. I am so satisfied with this figure, man. I'm just so glad I have this figure, man. And I highly recommend it, man. So, yeah, number five spot goes to the Black Panther. The number four spot goes to Bullseye. Hasbro, Hasbro. You beat Toy Biz with this figure. If Toy Biz was still around, they'll feel, they'll feel like, I don't know, like, beaten. Because this is the best Bullseye figure I've ever seen. Because, like, it's like the only second Bullseye figure I've ever seen. But, oh, man, this Bullseye figure is just so, so damn good. But I do have problems. The gun... Kind of sucks the the gun it came with, but I had to give it a replacement. And the knife causes really bad paint chipping. Like, why does this knife cause so much bad paint chipping? I mean, like, look, look at look at his hand. That kind of has so much black on it because of the knife. I just, ah. Uh, but you know, maybe that's my figure. But those 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 scraps don't affect the figure. So this figure is just so damn good. So many great accessories. The angry head sculpt, the pointing bullseye of finger. This one. Ah oh, man, ah oh, man, and this this is this is my favorite accessory. This throwing dagger effect is so cool. I mean, look at this. Oh man, I highly recommend this figure. And number four spot goes to Bullseye. The number three spot goes to the six one six Spider Man. I know it's shocking. If you know me personally, this is my favorite fictional character of all time. Spider Man is, but. Oh, I, I hate it that it's not number one, but this figure does have a lot of problems. Uh, it's a repaint. It's a repaint of a pizza spidey. The head sculpt's different, but besides that, it's a repaint, and that's why it's not number one, because the repaint, repaint's like, I don't think the repaint deserves to be on this list, and the lips, the hips are kind of loose. Uh, yeah, but like, if you get this figure in a standing pose, the hips are really incredibly loose. But maybe that's not my figure. But this figure's so, it's good! Like, they fixed the hips, too. I think that's why the figure loose because of the hips. But this figure's good. The hips really, like, help the figure's posability. And this, uh, Peter Parker head sculpt, it's so good. Like, if you put this figure on, like, the chameleon body mode, it, it's so cool. It, look, it looks so cool. This head sculpt is really good. I love it. But, is this figure better than Pizza Spidey? No, it's not better than Pizza Spidey. I, I know it's shot, but I just... I love Pizza Spotty. He's, I think he's my favorite Marvel Legend of all time. Cause I'm, I I'm remember getting this figure and I was I loved it. I still love this figure. But if this figure uh, just someone disappearing to snap, and if I get a replacement, this guy would be a replacement.
Busted the luck with this body. Anyways, we're getting off track. Number three spot goes to the 616 Spider Man. The number two spot goes to Moon Knight. Man, this figure is just phenomenal. Uh, Moon Knight is like a really good character. He's so awesome. Moon Knight's like Batman, but he's better than Batman. <laughs> Anyways, we're getting off track, but yeah, still though, this figure is really good. Although I do wish it came with a, a staff instead of batons. The batons still are a nice feature, and it does use batons in the comics. So yeah, I don't, I don't mind using batons, but if I prefer, I wish it had came with the staff. But man, this figure is good. The articulation is phenomenal. The fun factor is amazing. And he was so awesome to use in Dark Heroes Episode 2. And if you didn't see that, go watch it right now. Just pause the video and just go watch Dark Heroes Episode 2. So yeah, number two spot is Moon Knight. So, which figure is it? Which Marvel Legend is it that's gonna be number one in my list? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's the 616 Iron Man. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. This is the greatest Marvel Legends Iron Man figure of all time. It's better than Toy Biz's figures. It's better than the figures Hasbro has made. It, the articulation is great and it has the minimum requirements of becoming a great Iron Man action figure. Twin Star Kescope? Check. Alternate hands? Check. Repulsor effects? Check and check. Once I've opened the figure out of the box, uh, um, I knew it had to be number one. I said, yep, it's number one. And I'm still staying, I'm still staying by this. I'm still staying by my opinion. This figure, it's, it's amazing. I love it. And that's why in my list, is the best Marvel legend of 2017. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my list and uh, and let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite Marvel legend of 2017? Or were the top 10 best Marvel legend of 2017? So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of this video. Do you agree with my, do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? And if you disagree, please be friendly about it. Don't say, you're, you're stupid, your video's stupid itself, I hate you. Please, if you disagree, comment, comment friendly about it. Alright? And I'm interested to know, what are your favorite Marvel Legends of 2017? So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!